Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys another deck profile. Uh, this time it's going to be Kaiju Cosmos, um, which I've recently been using and, you know, made a deck for me testing it on people. And it's actually pretty good in my opinion, uh, mainly because of the Kaijus, because, you know, no matter what monster they have, uh, you can pretty much get rid of it. And, yeah, it can be really helpful in a lot of situations. Plus, uh, with Slumber, because your big ships float, um, just really easy to use and you don't need to waste uh two cards on dark hole because you can just use these two cards instead and yeah it's just as a whole works really well with cosmos so uh let's get into it so firstly for the biggest ships we have cosmo dark eclipse and dark destroyer uh dark eclipse um i think it just well firstly because you only have uh one Dark Destroyer, uh, which has got 3000 attack, another Eclipse so is really nice because it's also 3000 attack uh, and is as easy to summon as Dark Destroyer, so it's always nice to have two 3k beaters, uh, as well as Dark uh, Eclipse being able to banish from its graveyard to negate traps, uh, which quite a few decks like uh, True Drake are using nowadays, uh, which makes him helpful. Um, as well as if you summon him and he destroyed, you can banish him to get Dark Destroyer if you don't already have him, uh, which is a pretty good combo. And I don't really need to explain why I'm using Dark Destroyer because every Cosmo deck has to use Dark Destroyer because he's the best card in the deck. Um, then we use three Radians uh, for the Kaijus basically. Uh, and three Comungus. Yeah, it's pretty much like bad setup, but you know, I just click sort. Uh, three Radians because uh, he's going to be the Kaiju that you're going to be summoning to, summoning to your side of the field using Slumber. And Comungus is going to be the one that you're summoning to their side of the field. Uh, the reason we use Radiant and Comungus is because we're using Sacred Sword of Seven Stars, which uh, I'll talk about later, actually. Uh, but yeah, that's the reason, because if you summon Radiant to your side and Comungus to their side, you can just, you know, attack it and destroy it. Uh, secondly, the reason you use Radiant is because he works really well with uh, a Foreigner, in case you want to Kaiju their monster, and then you can summon Foreigner and uh, Ram it, and then go into Farm Girl, and then just try and OTK them, uh, because they both are 2800 attacked. And uh, comments again because he's level 7 and he's got a lower attack than Radian. Uh, then we use two Slip Riders. Uh, you don't really need three in this deck. Uh, two is just fine because you do use Twin Twister. Uh, and you want to be playing quickly so you've not really got time to have three Slip Riders. That's why two is fine. Mainly because it gets rid of background and it can flow into any of these. Uh, one Dark Lady. Uh, always nice to use uh, one Dark Lady just in case they do have a monster. You can just summon Dark Lady and, you know, negate a monster effect. Plus, <coughs> it's uh, good for the OTKs if you have uh, Farm Girl and uh, Wicked Witch. You can attack with Farm Girl, <coughs> uh, add Dark Lady to hand, banish uh, Farm Girl to summon Witch, attack with the Witch, banish Witch to summon Dark Lady, banish Dark Lady, and then it's going to another big ship. Really good OTK. <coughs> uh, then we have one Wicked Witch, uh, which is good for surviving duels uh, because it's... It's just a really good card because you just it's it's just a thousand life points and because you're using three foreigners to get back life points works really well to use one wicked witch because you can pay a thousand to survive until you draw a good card and uh yeah you just can't be destroyed by the card effect and then when you need to just banish to special summon one of your big ships and go off uh one good witch uh which is i think pretty good in today's meta for example i don't know what card to use but you can just flip any monster for example if it can't be destroyed by the card effect um, you just flip it face down with Good Witch and uh, you can just kind of pop it with, for example, Raigeki or uh, Dark Destroyer, Kaiju Slumber if you can't really card effects. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty good for that, plus you need two level 4s to overlay for the rank 4s, so them two are pretty good. Then we have three farm girls, obviously for the OTKs, uh, because this deck is based around OTKing, because you're going to be using Kaijus to get rid of their big monsters. Or Kaiju Slumber to be getting rid of all the monsters and summoning these, then you can just summon Farm Girl, attack Comungus with Radiant, and then just, you know, go go off with Farm Girl. Uh, one Sword Trooper, mainly because if, uh, well, firstly, with Tin Can, you can, if you do risk sending Psychics to the graveyard, you can just get them back. Secondly, if you use Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, if you only have, like, if they have a monster, then you can just summon one of yours, uh, activate Kaiju Slumber, then it'll go to the graveyard, but if you. Uh, if you've got a psychic and summon it, go to the graveyard, you can get it back with Soul Trooper. So it's good in those situations because, uh, 
Well, no, actually, that doesn't make sense. But I don't know if 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 any scenario, uh, if uh, in any scenario, if you just have a psychic which is in the graveyard, soul trooper is just nice to get it back. Uh, or for example, if someone strikes one of your psychics, you can get it back with strawman, which is also always really good. Uh, plus, it can also get back dark lady, which is actually really good. And the effects are not negated, so it's always nice to have that. Uh, one strawman. I uh, I don't I don't think we have space for two or three strawman. That's why one is good. But again, strawman is probably one of the most broken psychics because you just special summon any big ship you want. Obviously, like the dark planet, which we don't use. Uh, but yeah, and then it just dies in the end, and then you can just banish it, and special summon, and go into any literally any ship you want from dark destroyer or foreigner, uh, which is really good. And then we just use the one tin can, mainly because it's not based like we don't need a lot of tin can because we don't really need that many cards in our graveyard. Uh, so we just use the one, but it's always nice if you go first or then you, for example, have Tinkan or Eteli, then it's always nice to start off with Tinkan and then get a card uh, to your hand, and which you can then uh, banish Tinkan and summon it. Uh, so it's just good for those scenarios. Uh, that's it for the monsters. Then for the spells, we have three Allure of Darkness because we have quite a lot of dark monsters. Oh yeah, that's the Sword Trooper. Sword Trooper helps with Allure of Darkness as well. Uh, you've got Allure, um Soul Trooper, you've got Wicked Witch, you've got Dark Lady, you've got three Radiant, which are also dark, but the two dark big ships. So you've got quite a few targets for the darkness, so always nice to have that. Um, and then we have one Raigeki, pretty much just to clear your opponent's board. No other reason, because that Kaiju Slumber does act like a dark hole, so you just got basically one Raigeki and two dark holes. Uh, now, Sacred Sword of Seven Stars, which is basically you banish one level seven monster from your hand or face so from your side of the field and uh, draw two cards. Uh, that's where three Radians and three Foreigners and three Commongers come in because they're all uh, level sevens. So if you do draw this, it's a bit like a trade in, except it would be pretty good if you do get a Foreigner because you can banish it and get it back with Cosmotown. But if you do, do draw Radian or Commongers, and for example, if you can't use them, or if you have Kaiju Slumber anyway, then you can just, you know, get two free cards. Uh, then we have Entropic Kaiju Slumber, which I think is pretty much self-explanatory. just destroys all monsters in the field and use some of the Kaiju monster to their side and your side. Uh, and I believe they have to attack. Yeah, and then you can banish from the graveyard to get a Kaiju the turn that this is not sent to the graveyard. Uh, so it's like reassurance as well, like you summon monsters to your side of the field and your opponent's side of the field. And then you can just... Uh, get a kaiju again next turn and then tribute them a, a, a new monster if they've got one get rid of it and then you know go off with your monsters again because you can target them with things uh, other than that we have twin twister we just use two because this you know it requires to discard one card and discarding three cards is pretty like can be pretty costly so it'd just be good to use two you don't want to be really discarding any cards into the graveyard uh and yeah, that's pretty much it. Plus, if you do have a lot of darkness and no dark monsters or sacred sword of seven stars and no level sevens, which is pretty unlikely, but if you do, then if you're a twin twister, you can just discard those cards because they're pretty much useless in your hand. Uh, one Eteli, which I think every Cosmo deck uses because uh, it's also good for uh, OTKs because you can summon monsters attack, and if they get rid of it, you just Eteli because it's quick spell, and then you can summon Farm Gun and then go off again. And it's always nice to just. If you draw, if you don't draw any psychic, where you draw your telly, you can just go into um, a psychic monster. Uh, only two Cosmo Towns and no terraformings, mainly because uh, Cosmo Town isn't as important as in this deck as it is in other decks. Mainly because uh, you're going to be going pretty quick with this deck uh, using kaiju's and tributing their monsters to summon and destroying monsters on the field to summon kaiju's, uh, and you're not going to be like really getting mon ban your banished monsters back uh, because well af after you watch all my replays which I post probably after a few days after this video or the next day you never know you'll see that for Cosmo Town you just need to shuffle cards if you do have a bad hand but then again you play quite a few Kaiju so you're not going to be shuffling in and uh, if you're summoning and banishing especially summoning you're going to try and OTK them and if you're OTKing then you don't really have time to be bricking using Cosmo Town because you want to kill them as soon as possible. Uh, it's only two Cosmo Town. Uh, plus you can again, you know, if you really, really need, you can just get it with Farm Girl. 
Uh, two Cosmojos, it's just a broken card because the amount of cards that can't be destroyed by battle or card effect or targeted or whatever, you just Cosmojo them and banish them and that's, you know, them gone. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. And then we have two Strike on one Solemn. Uh, you don't really need three Strike. Again, we go, you're going with the OTK, so you don't have space to put three and, uh, you know, draw Strike when they don't even have a monster then activating effect, so two is enough. Uh, Solemn Warning 1 because it is to 1 and it's just such a good card because it just negates any summon. Uh, and again, it's quite a few life points, but then again, you got 4 on her again, so you're going to be getting life, po life points back anyway. Uh, yeah, that's it for the main deck 40 cards to make the deck as efficient as possible. And uh, extra deck, no side deck because I've used it quite a lot and it's actually really good against lots of decks. I've played like True Draco, Zodiac, Blue Eyes, Melodious. I don't know, uh, Galaxy Eyes, and I think I've won most of them, so I prefer not to use a side deck. Uh, extra deck, we have one Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack, uh, because you do use two level 7s if you special summon Radiant and you can get a Cosmo 4 on the field, you can summon that. Uh, I don't even know why I use this card, I mean, it's an okay card, it's just always nice to have uh, this card to overlay for level 7 because you do have level 7s uh gaia dragon the thunder charger this is just for if your mon if your opponent does have a monster in defense position you can uh, and they're low on life points and they think you know they're going to survive you can just get this guy out and piercing damage and they're dead uh plus you can summon it from uh <coughs> using rank 5s or rank 6 which is always nice as well uh, if you summon, I don't know, Pleiades, but you don't need him, you can just you summon Guy Drake. Not Guy Drake, Guy Dragon. Then do piercing damage and shut them down. Uh, Big Eye. <laughs> funny card, in my opinion, because you just, you know, take control of one monster your opponent controls. And it's not even to the end of the turn, so you don't give it back. And if they're going to do the co a combo with it, you just, you know, take and they can't do a combo. Uh, Ptolemy is really good in my opinion because first you can summon it from Pleiades and you don't play two level six but if you do summon uh, Pleiades you can summon it from that it basically sends a monster from the field or either plays graveyard to the hand so if you do have uh, a monster in your graveyard that you need that's maybe been sent there by ten can you can just get it back to your hand uh, infinity because of Nova that's self-explanatory uh, Utopia with well, Utopia Lightning with the normal Utopia in case you want to go with the 5k attack plays. Uh, Pleiades, such a good card. Because during either player's turn, just attach and target one card and return to the hand. Uh, which I don't know, I just think it's a really good card uh, for certain things like if they enter battle phase and you just return the monster to the hand and you know, they can't go into main phase 2 and summon it, so it's too bad for them. Uh, Castell, really good because it doesn't target, you just, oh wait, oh no, it does target, but uh, shuffles into the deck, uh, which is always, you know, because you're not returning it to the hand or destroying it, you're just shuffling into the deck, so they can't really make any further combos with it, uh, which is also really good. Abyss Dweller, because in today's format, quite a few cards use effects in the graveyard, and if they can't, then, you know, they're pretty much shut down. Uh, Phantom Knight Break Sword because you're using three farm girls and sword troopers, so it's always nice to have a break sword. Uh, this Hyades Constella uh, is an okay card to use. You know, you, you never know what situation you're in. If you just turn monster defense position and they have low defense, you can just attack them and get rid of them. They have really high attack. And finally, we have Levire, uh, which is basically just that one XYZ and target banish level 4. Or lower special summon it if you have banished to special summon uh and then you know if you've not got cosmo town you can summon this and then get it back for example if you get strawman you get strawman to special summon a big ship and then go off with whatever you want to do uh yeah that's it for the extra deck and no side deck like i said before uh so this is my kaiju deck which i have been using quite a lot recently and like no lie it's actually been going like really well it's just Kaijus, I don't. I think they should be banned in my opinion because they're like too OP. Because they've got like an out to every monster, unless it says can't be tributed, in which case, but not a lot of cards say that anyway. Uh, 
but yeah, it's just it's just all round a really good deck and worked really well together and it's really quick. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If there's any other deck profiles or Cosmo type deck profiles you want to see, just leave it in the comments below. If there's any other type of videos you want to see, then just leave it in the comments below. But thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.